Hello and welcome to another video from In3D Software. Today we're going to look at inner consoles, cutouts in panels and how we can make them parametric and how we can make it very easily in the new iX23. So anybody with iX23 will be able to utilize the new machining functionality within the parts editor, which used to be called the multi-part editor. So let's make a uh, quick product. I'm going to go to the designer article designer and then I'm going to type in my overall height width and depth so let's say that this is 900 high by 450 wide by 450 deep we drop down the product add in our top bottom left and right and then in here I want to add in a back panel and I'm going to change my back panel now to just be a standard inset back so let's zoom in and orbit around and we can see our back is now set up nicely if I click tick I've now got my product. Let's increase our level of detail by going from a level two to a level six, and this will bring through our etching and our hardware. Okay, so you can see I've got some dowels in here preset. And if I wanted a cutout in the middle of this back panel that was always gonna stay central, uh, inset a certain distance off the outside of the panel, I can do that very easily by modifying the product, go into the part definition via the construction principle. So let's go to the construction principle first. Here it is. I'm going to make one in here called Cutout and save a copy. Then I'm going to go to the part definition. So I'll click on the button for the part definition and I'm going to do the same thing. This is now going to be a cutout back panel. And now in iX23, this button has appeared instead of another red button here for the multi part editor that you'd see in 21. When we click on this, it now brings up the familiar looking multi-part editor, except this is now on steroids. We've got an extra machining tab in here, which is very nice. The first thing that I want to do, however, is go to my reference points uh, and I'll change my reference points in here with a linear division. And what I want to do is just type in a simple linear division of zero to 50 millimeters to one to 50 millimeters to one. To zero sorry and I'll copy that down into my lower section as well for X and Y and you can see I've now got my four cornered points in here if I go back to general and make a multi part and then go to the parts I can now add in a part based on these points I have a little bit of spaghetti here but that's okay I can click on the detach points and then I'll add in point to point and then click tick. That's gonna now add in a part connected to my four outside points. So it's just like playing connect the dots. I wanna set my machining principle. So that is gonna be part definition underscore four underscore BP underscore zero, 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 zero. And that's gonna be the original back panel part definition that I did have. Now what I want to do is add in a new part and I'm just going to say 0 0.1, 2, 3, 4 again. And this is now selecting those four points 50 mil in from the outside. Now if we're clever and we predict that this may need to change in the future, we would set up a simple number variable in there to be able to change the offsets. I'm going to leave mine at 50 mil and then what I want to do is say don't create a part, just create the cutout. And in here, I can even make it a pocket if I want to. I'll say the thickness of this part is the thickness of the cutout part that I want. So in this case, I'm gonna say 19 and tick. And then in here, I can go to my preview and you can see I've now made a cutout for my part. I can then click OK, save, apply, save and apply, and then tick. And that's now brought through my parametric cutout. So when I now stretch my product, it will then grow and shrink dependent on how I stretch. Thanks for watching. Speak to you soon.